Alzheimer's disease has been a big challenge. A lot of companies have put in a lot of money into late-stage clinical trials that to date have uh, essentially almost all been uh, disappointments. So we've done a little bit of going back to the drawing board and making sure that the mechanisms and molecules that we make are the very best that we possibly can, that are going after core features of the disease and that we're smart about testing them in early clinical development before we advance them. We're being much more methodical um, in early clinical development to only advance those things that we think have a, have a good chance of, of success. So we've gotten in a partnership with a, with a company that's developed an iPad-based game that tailors to the individual a measurement of how well you perform on these kinds of tasks and how much of a decrease in your performance is produced by having to attend to other tasks. This might be a way to utilize new kinds of electronic quantifiable measures to detect subtle deficits that predict who's going to go on to get Alzheimer's disease or who's responding to a therapy. So that's an example of trying to break down a really complicated constellation of a clinical deficit into focused areas that we can measure.